Welcome back to the Oval on the day before the World Test Championship final between Australia and India. Both teams going through their final preparations. It's been a fairly light day for both sides. They've done most of their work in the preceding few days here in London. Um, Nagraj, the major talking point from India's point of view has been the balance of the side. What's the latest you picked up on um, today over how they might go? It was an optional training, nothing much to pick, but I think the big question for India is how do they fill the Rishabh punt size hole because he was the enforcer, he was their keeper, he was the safe pair of hands also. So he did a lot, he was a match winner. Now, they're still, I don't think they have still reached a conclusion on, definitive conclusion on who will keep India's wickets, uh, whether it would be Shankishan or whether it would be K.S. Bharat. K.S. Bharat K. did come to practice today, but Shankishan didn't turn up. The other bit is about whether India go with four fast bowlers or do they play a second spinner in addition to Ravi Jadeja. Arashun did come to that today, but I just feel that India are leaning towards, as Rohit Sharma said in his uh, press conference on the match day eve, that uh, he feels it's going to be senior friendly conditions. He didn't spell it out. He said he's not ruling Ashwin out, but I feel that India might lean towards 4-1. Um, it's been a little bit simpler for Australia. The balance of their side was always going to be three specialists, Quicks, Cameron Green and Nathan Lyon. The decision they had to make was who replaced the injured Josh Hazelwood. That was confirmed overnight that it's going to be Scott Boland and we know what he can do when there's a little bit of grass on the pitch. The broader importance of this test match to Australia is one of legacy, really. Um, David Warner, of course, has mapped out the end of his career. There's a number of other players on the other side of 30 who may not come back. England for another tour, of course, the five test Ashes series follows this WTC final. And Pat Cummins today basically said that yes, what happens over the next two months will define how this Australian test team is remembered. Um, Nagraj, it's not just Australia searching for a bit of a legacy. A number of the Indian players are towards the back end of their careers. Well, how important um, is that from India's point of view, this test match? Yeah, a good point. In fact, uh, Karthik Krishnan Swami has written the match preview. He points that out that this is going to be a defining moment for players on both sides who are in the early 30s, including the captain Rohit Sharma and the captain Rohit Sharma, who will be playing his 50th test tomorrow and, incredibly, his first as an over in as a captain in an overseas test match. Uh, if Rohit wins it, he knows that he has established, he's elevated himself in possibly uh, closer to MS Dhoni as one of the great captains of India. Um, and if India win this match, we all know that they thirst for a world title since 2013. That will end. Well, a fascinating few days ahead here at the Oval, and you can follow all the action on ESPNCookInfo.com.